Yeah, welcome to On The Surf. This is the family on this channel. We're talking about boat stuff in general, boat life, boat life with kids, how it works with kids on the boat, how it works with dogs on the boat, boat maintenance and boat restoration and boat repairs and basically boat life in general. Please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost a thing, it's free, but it helps me out and keeps my motivation going. So please hit that subscribe button. Give the videos a thumbs up if you like the content. And if you don't, leave a comment below. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Yeah, here we are at it again. And I will show you my tools and my setup for all the boat work I'm doing. So let's go in behind door number one. As you can see, it's quite a mess in here. And that's because we are doing a lot of inside um, stuff for Sandra's parents' boat. Here is one new, almost finished, new cushions. Some more are being prepared and hopefully tonight we will finish that. And yeah, here is where I do all my video ed editing stuff. On this shelf I have all my carpentry tools and some other tools that yeah. Yeah and the kids like to be out here helping. Yeah, they got on they got their own toolbox. Papa. Papa. Yeah. Here I have a really old sewing machine. It's perhaps from the 50s. Got it from my grandmother. This one makes really nice stitches. So that I'm using for cushions and stuff like that. It's not super strong, so it's not strong enough to sew in canvas. Here I have my Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine. That one I use for canvas mini tops and you know sail bags and stuff like that when I need to sew in umbrella or yeah see similar quality from dif different brands and up here I have a really yeah, dinosaur this one I bust out when I need to sew something really heavy duty like uh, multiple layers of leather and stuff like that here on this shelf I have, yeah, you know, all different tools and equipment for sewing. In here I have a small stock of different fabrics. And yeah, I guess that's that. And down here I have stored the cushions for our boat. Yeah, we were out today looked at the sea Papa, cool. no. and damn the ice is melting and yesterday it was eight degrees outside so let's kick it in high gear get all the stuff done boat season is coming let's get to it yeah let's pause that for a minute and I noticed something and I have like four five hundred views of my videos some has hundred views some has 800 views but you folks aren't subscribed to the channel so please subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe prenumerera like the videos it's free it doesn't cost you a thing it's just helps the YouTube algorithm to, you know, reach out to 
you, more folks like yourself that's interested in boat work and maybe needs a little inspiration. So hit that button and let's continue. What now? Look at this. So annoying. The thing about doing boat work in the winter, off season, and especially in these COVID times, you run out of material and Everywhere where you normally buy materials, it's out. It's out. Uh, delivery times is five months, six months. And guess what? Then we are in the middle of the summer. So that's really frustrating. Oof. I mean, look, look at this. I went to the hardware store to buy some you know, basic standard stainless steel for my new dinghy davit and lifelines and what else? Uh, the bowsprit that's gonna hold up hold up my foldable ladder in the front. And I emptied out the total stock of 25 millimeters stainless steel. I will show you the total stock of stainless steel at two of the biggest hardware store here around. This is what they got. Just a little bit over two meters. And that's no way near enough. I ordered 10 meters more. And I have like a meter to spare if I do some bend wrong and so on. And normally when I order from the hardware store, let's say I go in on a Monday, they don't have it home. I tell them I need it. Day after in the afternoon they have it or in the most extreme cases the day after that now i ordered more two weeks ago that's really really annoying like right now we are basically in real time it's middle of january and normally i have 99 percent of the boat work done it's two months to launching day. And yeah, <laughs> I actually don't really know how to make this work this season. That's why there hasn't been so much new episode about boat, boat work and boat maintenance because I can't find the materials. Everyone is out. It's they can't order it because their supplier uh, is out of it. And yeah, it's really, really annoying. Like over here, there, it's, it's the cushion for Sandra's parents boat. And I ordered the materials for that last year from Germany delivery time two days right now that stainless steel pipe is just enough for making uh, the new arc arch yeah arch for the soft top for the boat but the mounts you know the little stainless parts that you mount the pipe to 
all the marine shops in Sweden is out. Germany is out. So I had to order them directly from China. The delivery time from China today is three months. I ordered them in uh, end of November or early December. So I hopefully have them in the beginning or middle of February. And yeah, I'm cutting it really, really short this time, this year, yeah. So today we're gonna finish, hopefully finish Sandra's parents' cushions. Their boat is actually already in the water. And yeah. So the next episode is gonna be about preparations and stuff you can do without having access to marine parts so you can prepare some other stuff so when you eventually get your hands on the parts you need it's just smack them together and I also think I'm gonna do a episode about marine wiring because yeah the current is 12 or 24 volts depending on the boat but it's in a marine environment that's that needs a lot of higher quality on the connections so I'm gonna show you how I do it I solder all my connections and heat shrink it with heat shrink that has glue on the inside so it basically make an air and watertight connection so the wire inside the insulation doesn't corrode and make the connection last basically forever in my boats it's not the wiring or the connections that makes any trouble it's the switch or electric motor or something like that that gets destroyed before the connections in a lot of old boats it's the connections it gets corroded the fuses don't have contact we get those trouble those annoying troubles it works sometimes sometimes it doesn't work and every time you try to troubleshoot it it works so we can't find the problem yeah it's really annoying so make the wire connections so that way withstand the damp and moisture in the air in a marine environment so i'm gonna do uh, yeah i'm gonna do an episode about that that's yeah that's really good to know so let's get to the cushions yeah so here i'm doing the bottom and since i have this level looking fabric on the top and on the side i need something that breathes on the bottom so it doesn't blow up when you sit on it so i'm gonna hand stitch the bottom why yeah, it's just easier than machine sewing and if you want to see how you can make your cushion so yourself i've actually made an episode about that some time ago so i will leave a link below to that so now i'm only gonna show you the finished cushion in this episode yeah, and this takes a little time and i use a little multi-tool because hand stitching in this fabric is quite hard at least some stitches are so I'll get back to you when this cushion is finished one cushion done Hector Jack Jack Sandra Hector Jack one dog and and the other dog was here earlier. They are helping me. I guess they are 
quality checking the foam for the mattress. But yeah, right now I'm uh, editing this video, so we're basically real time. And yeah, it's really frustrating not getting the parts to do the rest. I'm waiting for a small, small, small thing in stainless steel for so I can start making a new soft top for the boat. I'm actually thinking of making that little part myself just to yeah, get forward. I will edit this video and then I will check that. And sorry for getting this video out a little late. But yeah, with no parts it's no work and yeah, with two kids it's not so much free time anymore. Stay tuned, let's see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, boat launching for me is in two months. So I really need to get some stuff done. See you next time.